the metropolis of dragon adventures. Have you ever entered it? Do you know its purpose? The answers are no. Don't worry. I'm Miss Stark, and I'll walk you through every corner of the Undercity, explaining in detail the functionality of each area. Why do you need to know all this? I'll just tell you that you'll thank me later. There are two ways to enter, through the main portal if we are in any world or its direct portal in Origins, located next to the point of appearance. Once inside and turning to our right, we will find the item store. Here we can buy or sell from food, healing items, resources, and potions, which every hour will be exchanged for new ones. Here, we also have the bank to deposit or withdraw anything from the inventory. On one side, we have the fishing cave, simply a fishing area. We move forward to enter the Flare Emporium, place to buy Dragon Flares. When buying these pieces, we will unlock a small, unique animation in your dragon, and we can only equip one at a time. If you are interested in knowing more details, in the description I leave you the wiki with direct link to this section. Further on, we have the Guild Hall, the place where the Guild War Dragon is exhibited. Inside are decorated the spaces of the Iron, Mystic, and Royal XD guilds. Depending on which one you are joined, you can buy accessories and decorations set to your guild, by the way. Never open this box. There is also the Reward Altar, which is a direct access to the Guild War tab. Right next to it, we have the Player Market. Very soon, your favorite place in the Undercity. Here, you can sell all your inventory except eggs, flares, and cosmetics. You can select the quantity and prices of your products to your liking. In the following video, I will explain in detail how you should measure the prices if you want to sell or buy something in this place. We move on to the accessory store for both you and your dragons. Each UGC has benefits according to the theme of the dragon to which they belong. I have a video of buying five of these UGC to get the accessory egg if you want to go see it. And this place has a section to get rid of accessories that we don't like. Just to one side, we have the Elixir Factory. Nothing different from Origins. You can buy items with Elixir Drops that you get in chests or exchanging them for things from your inventory. This is better explained in the Guild War video. We arrived at Dragon Inn, a place that has no functionality with which we can interact. It is only a place set to the rest of the Undercity with sounds of a cabin. Finally, we have the stables. Having them here allows you to have access to all your dragons in case you want to sell them or keep them for more space. Back to the front, we will go down the stairs to reach the auction area. In the center, we have on display the dragon that is on auction to see its data and price. We have eight screens available, four on the bottom and four on the top. On the left side, we have the list of waiting dragons. We can click to see their data, but the price will be displayed until they are in auction. And on the right side is the list of dragons sold on the server, but we will not be able to see their data. In case you want to buy or sell dragons, we will open the top tab in Buy a Window will appear with the time remaining for the offer, the current price, and the amount you must offer if you want to win the auction. The bar serves to act fast, and you have to give bid if you are sure to pay the price for the dragon. There are also the Auto Buy, where you can choose a fixed price that after three seconds is activated and the first user to click on it gets the dragon. And in the Sell window, you will choose a dragon, the price with which you want to start your auction. The Auto Buy is optional, and you can choose how much users will have to increase to be placed at the top and win your dragon. And time. I have explained you in a quick summary all the places and things you can do in the Undercity. Now, if you want to learn how to buy or sell at the best price any dragon or items, please let me know in the comments. Your opinion and support to this channel serve us too much to constantly improve. And that's why I will raffle an Oranga when we reach 100 subscribers. Stay tuned with notifications. Thank you very much for being here, and see you soon, my dears.